WXBT Delta Weather. We started off with a lot of sunshine, but as we rolled through the afternoon and now pushing into the evening hours, a bit more cloud coverage beginning to stream in, and that's because a weak little disturbance is beginning to push south across the delta as we now especially push into the evening hours. And that even sparked a few very light scattered showers back across northern and eastern portions of the delta, but it is bringing a good bit of low level cloud cover now pushing through the northern, and that'll continue to head south as we go through the rest of this evening. Taking a closer look at some of those showers that have formed, we have one a couple little systems move through Quitman County. Those are now pushing off to the south and southeast and are riding down through Grenada County and through Montgomery County as well, but those are pushing out of the area. And the little system that we had riding behind is beginning to fizzle out as it moves through Tallahatchie County as well. So I think most of the shower activity that we were going to see today has been on the light side and is coming to an end now as we push into the evening hours as that front is kind of losing some of its steam. And we maybe will just see a little bit more cloud cover as we go through the rest of this evening, but it is a very thin band and we should begin the and once again, see clear skies as we head towards the overnight hours. Temperatures, though, thanks to that sun, got back up into the upper and mid 70s. As we're at 77 degrees right now at the Mid Delta Regional Airport, dew points as that front gets closer are climbing a little bit now into the lower 50s after being in the upper 40s. And the winds out of the west have been rather breezy this afternoon, all day long between 10 to 15 miles an hour, still gusting at 12. But those should also begin to die down a little bit once the front slides through and as we head through the overnight hours. Big picture, we have that main frontal boundary that I'm talking about producing more showers back through Alabama, Georgia. It also rode through Tennessee, but it is now pushing farther down to the south. This will help to bring some cooler air behind it. But that is the front that was way up back through Minnesota and Wisconsin yesterday. Normally patterns move west to east, but we kind of have this blocking pattern set up in the jet stream, and that's what drives that pattern. And so if this very up and down movement of the winds, that's what helped push that cold front right down through our area and is now pushing through the delta as we have an upper level low that's just kind of stuck out to the east producing some cooler temperatures in that portion of the region out to the west there's a big upper level high pressure that's building that's bringing very hot air across the area and that extends all the way up into Canada and that's what produced that fire up in the Alberta area which has now caused 90,000 people to be evacuated from that little town where the fire has been started. And you can see this system is not going to go anywhere soon. So we're going to continue to be with the dry weather at least for the next several days. It won't be until the beginning of next week that we see the return of rain. And with that, once again, you can see this on the national temperatures that we're still back in the 80s through Boise up into Montana and back through Bismarck while we're only in the 70s. So you can see the very hot air is still back out over that ridge while the cooler air is making its way in across the east as they're in the 50s and even 40s. We're going to see a little bit of that cool air tomorrow behind the front, but then some more mild and warmer temperatures return just in time for the weekend. Going through tonight, though, skies clearing, temperatures dropping all the way down into the lower 50s, so it will be on the cooler side by the time you wake up tomorrow morning. Going through the morning hours, only 56 degrees as you head out the door with lots of sunshine, so you'll need the sunglasses and maybe the sweater again as you head out the door, but you can quickly shed that by the afternoon as we'll get into the lower the mid 70s with bright blue sunny skies winds out of the north northwest at 10 to 15 so it will be another breezy afternoon and then we're looking at another comfortable night with temperatures falling down into the upper 60s as we head through the evening and if you're heading over to Greenwood for the queue on the Yazoo this weekend we're looking at plenty of sunshine so you're going to need to pack the sunscreen if you're going to be heading out to take in some of those events temperatures also very warm 71 by 10 a.m. and then climbing into the mid 80s as we head through the afternoon hours Mother's Day looking just as night 84 degrees and mostly sunny skies but as I mentioned as we move into next week we'll finally begin to see the chance for some showers begin to push back in across the Delta slight chance on Monday better chances for the rain as we move into Tuesday and Wednesday maybe even the possibility for a few isolated thunderstorms each afternoon. All right, boy, that um, cue on a y that Yazoo, that picture, that barbecue <laughs> looks so Getting tasty. you a little hungry so now? So tasty, yes, I am, very much so. I don't know if I'm going to be able to wait till Saturday. I might head over to a BBQ place here locally uh, yep. on the I break. Mean, it's that time uh, of the year. I don't know, but yeah, guys, check out the uh, cue on a Yazoo on Saturday. Looks like it's a, it'll be a good deal, good eating. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you, Eric. We're still heading to Delta News at 6. We'll make